Hello everyone, it is Sukasa with Sucraft, and welcome back to my Asmata. That's right, I've got my desktop back, came in a few days ago, and I've been working on reinstalling everything, getting everything set back up on it for recording, and it is now done. Um, I was somewhat lucky, most of my files, uh, at least my Steam save game files, off my other hard drive, I was able to recover a lot of my other stuff, uh, to re-download. Um, but anyway, I was able to get my Miasma to save file back. So, I don't have to restart that completely, but I w had, like, two episodes recorded, like, the day before my computer crashed, and I hadn't had time to get them uploaded yet. They are gone, so I'm not in the same spot. But, I'll be real honest with you guys, they weren't all that entertaining, um... All I did was, very uneventfully, without any encounters, I went from uh, where I was over here, uh, I think I was at that little shack, I just walked over here, I found a hut here that had some like mushrooms growing in it, and um, picked up a red mushroom, moved over to here, to this little shack, and I found a note. And then I just came all the way up here to Outpost Vega without any incident. And, um, it was a bit boring because once I got up here I did a bunch of, um, uh, uh, synthesizing and stuff and it wasn't too entertaining. Uh, I'll show you guys the stuff I had found. Um, boy, there was quite a few of them actually. Um, let's see, notes here. Which one was it? Yeah, I don't remember if I'd, you guys had seen this one. I found this one in a hut. Kind of crazy. The guy creeped out and lost his mind. Anyway, you can uh, pause these if you want to read them. Here's one I found. Uh, that's this one I found in the shack. It's kind of weird. I don't think it actually has anything to do with the game itself. It's just kind of one of those cool little backstory things. Um, apparently, it, the game takes place in, like, 1911. I did not know that. I thought it took place in more modern times. But, um, this is kind of a weird little story. I'm not sure if it actually has any relation to real life. It might just be fictionalized. Uh, from what I gathered, the terminology, like oligarchy and, and such things, as the date, uh, it sounds <coughs> very Eastern European, like, uh, former, uh, Tsarist Russia territories, like maybe, um, Finland, Estonia, Lat uh, Lithuania, Latvia, something like that. So, but anyway, you can pause that and read that whole thing. Kind of interesting. Uh, I found this in the shack up here at the outpost, which talks about um, the different types of drugs. Some of these I really want to get my hands on. They permanently increase stuff, like permanently increase your strength. You can sprint and swim farther. That sounds freaking awesome. This one here permanently allows you to sense an enemy's presence. Yes! That sounds awesome. And, um, here's, uh, the emphasis, uh, the endurance emphasis drug and how to synthesize it. It will, uh, permanent. I think it's the one that permanently increases my, uh, endurance. I need to find a giant bloom and a blue-capped mushroom, neither of which I've seen. And, uh, in this shack right here, I found the next, um, objective for the, I guess, the main overall story. Uh, if you guys remember, I was on a, um, a hint about synthesizing, I think it was Agent Y for the, f the cure, and uh, the guy had found some bioluminescent uh, mushroom or something over here by Outpost Vega, and once I got here to Outpost Vega, I found this, which talks about it. Now, um, Herbert, <laughs> weird name, uh, Herbert discovered curious algae, thus the evening of our return to Outpost Vega from my research at the rune site B. It has a property of brilliant bioluminescence during the day, and is impossible to discern from uh, this algae from the other stuff in the bog, which is not good. <laughs> At night, it shines brightly via some apparent biochemical process, which sucks. That means I have to go into a mossy bog which is a terrifying prospect, but I am i guess that's my next objective. I'm gonna try to cheat, because if I can't do it in the daytime, I'll find it anyway. <laughs> we'll see. I also found this in this little shack. It's uh, 
basic medicines, different um, plants that can be used to make medicines. I found a couple of these already, like the white spiked prairie flower and the um, pink white viola. There's a couple of other ones I haven't run across yet, but it's good to know. Keep an eye on them. And there's a widow squirrel on the front porch. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> and this one I thought was kind of interesting. Anti-hallucination medicine. That I found in one of these shacks right here. Um, three specimens on this island can be synthesized into anti-hallucination medicine to restore a patient's sanity during a psychotic episode. Which makes me wonder, is the beast just a psychotic breakdown? Not a real? Don't know. My god, that squirrel's just coming right in. So, that is where I am. I, um, examined and synthesized a few things, which is why those episodes I don't think were very entertaining. I, uh, synthesized one of those red mushrooms into a slurity tonic, which I guess bugged out. It, I picked it up off the table, and it, it didn't go into where my other medicines are. I don't know if it drank it automatically or what, but, yeah, it kind of sucks. Yeah, there's the, the red mushroom I found. It was used to make that into a slurity, or clarity, rather. Tonic. And uh, synthesize some extra strength medicine. So that is where I was, and what you guys missed in the episodes that I lost. So anyway, um, where to go? What to do? Let's drink some uh, water here. Oh boy. That is a terrifying prospect, having to go into that bog at night. Ugh. Um, it's five o'clock. I thought I did thankfully put it on my map. Here's where we uh, are now. Up here at the outpost. And um, it put it on my map and even circled the bog. How nice of them, huh? So, I think that might be a little hut. Let's try to uh, go get down there before uh, nightfall. I hate going at night, my god, it's so dark. Terrifyingly dark. Do I have... I don't think I have that thing on the, uh... Triangulate that. It, I'm very rusty at this game. I haven't played in, like, a month, so, uh... Bear with me. I can't remember how to do this. Oh, and I should say that there was, whenever I loaded up Steam, a freaking... God dang... 1.1 gigabyte update for this game. That I have no freaking clue what it was, what it did, at all. I that's why I hate Steam. I searched through the different update, uh, think links on there, and there was nothing. It was just empty pages. I freaking hate that. God, I remember how to do this stupid thing. I think I. I was already triangulated. Yes. No. Why is it? Maybe I gotta go stand by it first. Like I said, it's been a while. A month and a half since I played the game because of my freaking crash issue. Oh wow, what is going on out here? Is it a campfire or something? Huh. Nifty. Anything of use? <laughs> Open up tin cans. Fascinating. It's gonna get dark on me, isn't it? Oh no! Oh no! I fell down again! No, get up! Oh, I lost my. Oh my god! Thank you! Get up hill. Good lord. Okay, now let's try this. Triangulate the sucker. Right. And you. Which are both known locations that should triangulate me. Heck yeah. Now, you. And you. Why oh, didn't that work? Oh, no, never mind. They popped up. Cool, cool. So. Awesome. No, there's like no way to get out to them because I'll drown, so. I don't know. What the heck does more iron used for? What do these big logs do? Smack the beast with that thing. I'll mess him up. <laughs> I like my axe though, makes me feel secure. I was thinking maybe those things would turn into a torch, but I guess not. I need a smaller stick for that. 
If I'm gonna go down there at night, I'm gonna need a freaking torch. Oh, wow, look at that. It's like a beetle. Or a cockroach. <laughs> cool stuff. The game is just gorgeous, though, isn't it? I'm not sure if this really translates after the, uh, crap after the encoding. Just how beautiful these graphics are. Any sticks up here? No. Well, that sucks. Alright, now, let's head back to the outpost here. Oh, I want to show you the, um, the other shack here that I found. Pretty crazy stuff. Looks like whoever was staying here probably lost his friggin' mind. On, climb up. Definitely lost his mind. <laughs> he, uh, kind of went off the deep end, as you can see. He started, uh, painting extraordinarily creepy pictures of the beast. Yeah. Very, very creepy. <laughs> so, anyway, this I guess kind of just a recap episode of what... What was missing from the, uh, well, the missing episode, but, um, we're running a bit low on time, so I'm going to save it and, uh, call the episode, you know, and then we will go down into the, uh, bog. Ugh. Just do not like the prospect of doing that, to do that. But we will do that, head down this way in the next episode. I'm sure that will be quite entertaining. So, this is Sukasa signing off. If you did enjoy, please thumbs up and click subscribe to see more. That will help me out. Till next time, though, have a good one.